Have you ever encountered an application like this, which I'm showing you right now, which says welcome to Nginx, which is basically an Nginx application. And when you are doing pen tests and when you're seeing this kind of application, have you ever thought that, okay, what should we do in order to, you know, find something interesting on this kind of application? Because right now, most of the time when you try to like, you know, find something or do some content discovery on this kind of application, you will see nothing or maybe some, you know, few more static pages. Like it basically depends on application, but in most of the cases, you're going to see that it is nothing apart from just a message which says, welcome to Nginx, especially when you're trying to access the application through the IP address, which I'm doing right now. So if you are confused, like what to do in cases like this, then don't worry because in this video, I'm going to show you that how we can do reconnaissance on Nginx web applications so that we can uncover some interesting application that we can test later on for interesting vulnerabilities, right? But before diving deep into this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video, then go ahead and check it out. The link of the video is given in the description as well as you can see it at the right side of the screen. Definitely go ahead and check it out if you really want to learn one of the most unique ways to bypass file upload mitigations right and now with that being said let us get started okay so before we do anything onto this application first of all let's try to go and use the default or you know the common reconnaissance technique that we use when you're seeing an application like this right so we have this application and what we'll try to do is we'll try to enumerate some contents using ff okay so i have kali Linux up and running over here i'm going to type ff and we'll just paste the url like this and let's do fuzz and i'm going to use the common word list okay discovery web or you know let's try to go ahead and use rough medium which is personally which is my favorite one you know for quick enumeration let's do minus ac and let's hit enter and let's try to see that whether we'll get some kind of directory over here or not right so as you can see the scan has been already completed right and we have not got any single directory over here right does that means that this application does not have any application well not exactly right and to understand that why we are not seeing any you know content over here we need to first try to understand that how engine x works right and let's try to go ahead and see through a simple diagram that how it works let's go straight into it okay so this is a very simple diagram that i have created in order for you guys to understand that what exactly engine x server do right so engine x server is basically you know uh, a reverse proxy and what i mean by that reverse proxy is that it you know, accepts your request from the client and then, then it, you know, identifies that where do I need to send this particular request? Like on which internal application or on which server do I need to send this request? So for example, in this very first request, when you are sending a GET request to this IP address, which is exactly what we are doing over here, right? We are sending a GET request to this IP address. So it goes to the Nginx reverse proxy and then it identifies the host header right and in the host header it will see that okay this is the ip address so then it will think that it is pointing to the default configuration of the nginx server right and therefore it will go to the default server and then that's why we will see nginx page which is what we are seeing over here so no matter how many you know different types of content discovery techniques you will apply you will always hit the default server why because obviously the host header is pointed to the server, which means that Nginx is thinking that we need to point this to the def default application, default configuration that has been set to the Nginx server, right? Now, what happens is that in Nginx server, there can be multiple level of, you know, internal applications or other level applications present inside it. For example, over here, you can see in the Nginx server, we have like few applications, test.bpractical.tech, web.bpractical.tech, admin dev, and beta stage dev dot be practical .tech, right now these are all the internal application and to access this you need to go through the nginx server right so how does the nginx server will understand that whether you want to go for test.bpractical.tech whether you want to access web.bpractical.tech admin dev.bpractical.tech or maybe beta stage dev.bpractical.tech it identifies all of this by the host header that is basically getting sent into through the request right for example if the client sends another request in which is going to send a get request and the host header is set to test.bpractical.tech 
nginx server is going to process this and is going to understand that okay you're not looking for the default application but you're looking for test.bpractical.tech right and therefore you'll get the data of test.bpractical.tech on your browser it is as simple as that so whenever we are seeing an nginx application then we need to make sure that we are hitting the correct virtual host this is very very important virtual host right by the way if you guys haven't watched my previous videos on you know virtual host and how we can find them you can go ahead and check it out the link is the, of the video is also given in the description right and now i hope you guys have understood this now in many cases like if you want to really dive deep into this you you will notice that you know most of the time nginx is going to help as a load balancer you know where you can distribute uh, the loads evenly across multiple server it can help you to you know uh, host multiple application onto the same server for example test.bpractical.tech web.bpractical.tech all of this can be hosted on the same server using you know uh, docker and containers and nginx can easily you know help you to route the traffic so that you know you can access test.bpractical.tech uh, web.bpractical.tech all hosted on the same server right and this is what basically nginx server do now i hope you guys have understood that how nginx server works and now with that being said let's try to go ahead and see by ourselves that how in scenarios like this we can do proper reconnaissance let's go straight into it okay so now that we know that what exactly we need to be doing in order to you know dive deep into nginx application let's try to go ahead and see a practical demonstration right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this whole url okay and then i'm going to go back to my kali linux machine and then we'll try to brute force the host header like exact subdomain for which nginx is going to point to a different application right in many cases you will already have a domain name through which you are going to get started you know whenever you are doing uh, bug bounty or penetration testing right so we'll assume that obviously there are little more ways to you know uh, do some more reconnaissance on nginx application and we'll probably cover that in the next video but for now let's go ahead and see how we can do the vhost enumeration so what i'll try to do is i'll try to simply execute ff again ff minus u like this and then we'll paste the whole url like this okay and then we'll simply going to do this particular command right so you see i am actually brute forcing the host header which is first.bpractical.tech so i'm assuming that the host name is bpractical.tech or the target is bpractical.tech obviously right and then i'm choosing a word list over here i'm choosing rough medium you can go ahead and choose a word list that is you know meant for dns brute forcing like maybe dns json haddix or uh, you know uh, best dns word list you know by asset note right obviously you can choose any one of them okay once you have that you simply need to do enter okay and that's going to take some time and then we'll see the output all right obviously this is a word list for content discovery not dns brute forcing that's why we are seeing a lot of you know false positives over here but if you take a closer look and zoom a bit you'll see that we are getting laps right for which the status is 200 and the size is 2964 which is very much different from what we are seeing in the rest of the uh, the responses which clearly meant that there is something over here right now the last piece of this particular puzzle to solve this particular puzzle is that we need to add this particular value into our uh, own host value right so what we need to do is we need to open our terminal okay and then we can simply go ahead and type sudo nano etc host just like this it's going to ask you for the root password just type that and here we are right and what we'll simply do is we'll put the ip address like this okay let me just this and then we'll simply go ahead and type uh, labs dot b practical dot tech just like this because we know this is what uh, we have found through ff right labs dot b practical dot tech right the f was was present on this particular place so we'll simply go ahead and save this now why hit enter we are pretty much good and now in a new tab i'm simply going to type labs dot b practical dot tech and let's see what we will get okay hit enter okay let me just remove this from here and you see on visiting labs.bpractical.tech we are getting the application 
right we are successfully getting the application which means that we were able to uncover the hidden application so what exactly is happening over here is that in the nginx server we have one more instance you can say uh, labs.bpractical.tech and when we are sending the requests we are simply pointing the host header to you know labs.bpractical.tech the host header is set to labs.bpractical.tech it is getting sent to the nginx server which is hosted on the same ip address and now nginx server knows that what exactly we are looking for right from the host header it has identified that we are looking for labs.bpractical.tech and that's why we are getting this particular content so we have successfully enumerated or you know found an internal application that we can go ahead and test further right so this is how you can look for engine x uh, you know related application for content discovery so whenever you're doing uh, content discovery whenever you're doing reconnaissance for engine x go ahead and try out this particular method i'm sure it's going to help you guys a lot right now if you want to see that how exactly this uh, thing is configured in engine x then stay with me because i want to show you that as well so let me just go ahead and type uh, nano etc sites enable labs so this is something which i have created for this demonstration so you can see i have added the server name as labs.bpractical.tech so whenever we are sending labs.bpractical.tech in the host header nginx configuration is going to identify that and then for the location this particular location you know which is the the default location over here we are seeing right it is going to redirect it the traffic to 127.0.0.1 to this port 3001 right which is the exact port which is running an internal application on docker right so if i go ahead and type docker ps you will see that there is this lab which i have created which is running on this particular port right and then we are so basically we are accessing the port 3000 on labs or be practical dot tech through nginx and we are sending the request to nginx port 80 right so port uh, nginx is automatically sending the request to labs.bpractical.tech at port 3000 whatever response it is giving is going to send back to nginx and nginx is going to send the response back to the client and this is exactly how nginx is working i hope you guys have understood how nginx works and how we can find our enumerated contents on nginx server if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts and issues in the comment section i'll be happy to help you guys right and now if you're really into reconnaissance and you want to dive deep into you know how we can enumerate stuff how we can perform a in-depth reconnaissance in cases like this if you are interested you can go ahead and check out my course which is the art of web reconnaissance where i have taught everything from scratch so i'm going to learn about basic enumeration and then we'll go all the way to the advanced level right not only that at the end of the course we are going to find real vulnerabilities on real application only using reconnaissance techniques that have been taught into the course so at the end of the course you are going to see a practical real world example of how we can find high to critical level vulnerabilities directly through reconnaissance on a real application so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out the link of the course is also given in the description as well as you can see the pinned comment and now with that being said keep learning Keep hacking and once again, thank you so much for watching this video.